Ion Spice for Sakos, and this is a guide on how to get all the World 1, Zone 1 achievements from the Super Adventure Box instance or event, whatever you want to call it. I'll also be showing you how to get some basic achievements from it. The Super Adventure Box is located in Radisum, right over by this orange star right here. Also over here is the guy named Motto, where you can set, spend all the currency that you earn while you're in the Super Adventure Box. You can buy a couple weapon skins and a couple other things. Surprise yourself. You do not need a five-man party to do this, you can actually do this solo. Once you're in the Super Adventure Box, you're going to grab a coin, then talk to Motto, and then you're going to come to an area that looks like this. Go ahead and head to your right. Over there, you see this little cloud thing. Go and click yes, and to get your first achievement, you're going to have to do a run-through of the entire first world. It's really easy in this mode. It'll tell you exactly where to go, and it'll um, get you through all the obstacles real quick. Once you get to zone 3, be sure to avoid all the fly traps to get the minor and illusion achievement. Now to kill the toad at the end of zone 3, what you're going to have to do is knock a shard off of his necklace. Once you do that, go ahead and grab that shard and sit back, wait for him to do his tongue attack. When he does his tongue attack, go ahead and throw the shard at him. After that, after that you'll be able to do a lot more damage than you would normally. After killing the toad, you should get your minor and illusion achievement, as well as your baby's first super adventure achievement. Next, you want to go for your scholar achievement. To do this, you're going to have to run through the whole game again in normal mode. Go back to Radisum, re-enter the instance, and once you get to this log cabin right here, go ahead and click on Zone 1. After running through the zones a couple of times, you should have come past a couple of shops. Go back to one of those shops and purchase a shovel first, and then save up for some bombs. Eventually, you want to buy all seven upgrades to get your minor and enhancement achievement. You're going to have to use your shovel 100 times to get your minor and excavation achievement. Now that you have all the basic achievements, I'm going to show you how to find all the bubbles as well as the seven hidden rooms in Zone 1. Zone 2 and 3 will be in another video. When you first spawn in Zone 1, turn right and you'll see a tree. At the top of the tree, you'll find your first bubble. Head over to the waterfall, pick up the key, and open the chest to get your second bubble. Throw a bomb at the waterfall to find your first hidden room. You do not need to collect bubbles dropped by monsters to get this achievement. Only the ones that are out in the open, in hidden rooms, and the ones in chests. Run to the area left of the first checkpoint and throw a bomb in the corner to find your second hidden room. In this area, the bubbles are located on the trees next to the wall towards the left. While collecting all the bubbles, kill the monkeys until you find a golden key. The golden key is used to open up a chest in the middle of the area. After you open the chest and get the 20 bubbles, go ahead and jump down to the smaller platform below to get the 5 bubbles. The third hidden room is located next to the large ramp on the left hand side of the map. Once you exit the third hidden area, look to your left and you'll find a pile of rocks. Throw a bomb and enter the fourth hidden area. Continue through to the next checkpoint. Once you reach the checkpoint, let it launch you to the left and then follow the wall until you reach the pile of rocks on the right. Once you reach it, throw a bomb and enter the fifth hidden area.
In this area, bee dogs will spawn. Follow them until you reach the maze. Once you reach the maze, you're going to have to find three blue bubbles and one green bubble. If you want, you can just go to the end of the maze and look down to find all the bubbles. The bee dog should have continued past the maze. Follow the direction until you see a giant bee dog. Go ahead and kill it. Once you kill a giant bee dog, run past where it was standing to destroy the honeycomb. It should drop some bubbles. Exit the maze and head to the next checkpoint. You should see a green bubble in the middle of this area. Once you get these three bubbles, take a right to find the sixth hidden area. After you exit this area, head straight to find the seventh hidden area. After you enter this area, you should get your Associates of Secrets achievement. Climb to this top and destroy the cage to get your Associates of Bubbles achievement. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any more questions, check out the Guild Wars 2 website or message me on YouTube. Please like and subscribe to the video if you found it useful, and I'll see you guys later.